All right, boys. It's an absolute beautiful winter day up here in Hobbison right now. It's insane. It's actually gonna be the last session for me of 2020. I'm kind of glad that this year is soon over so we can uh, look forward to 2021. And hopefully I'm gonna go out and have a good day on the water. I'm actually gonna fish a spot that I have never fished this time of year before. It's like 27th of uh, 26th or 27th of October right now. Um, not too much snow yet though. So uh, I actually brought my spinning rod today. Um, Cause I, I wanna have some action now, uh, last session of the year. But like, um, I'm gonna go to a spot where it's uh, aiming for big fish, usually not too much fish. This time of year anything can happen so. I could technically hit the mother load of a big fish. But otherwise than that, I got my uh, Maxell Sea Lion rigged up on my Phantom Rod. And I'm, go I'm gonna fish with mainly bait fish today, of course. And as uh, some of you have, uh, may have seen by now, I am ambassador for a brand called Leech Eyewear that makes uh, polarized sport fishing glasses or sport fishing glasses in general. But of course they have many models uh, that fits everyone, uh, more like street models as well. The ones I'm wearing right now is the Fish Pro uh, that has some nice wind guards and or I think there are more like uh, light guards from the sides and on top here. Um, super cool glasses, um, uh, they are sitting super good, they are not too long in the back so I can have my hat on without them like flying up and stuff. Really enjoy being on the team for Leech. Um, and if anyone have any questions about the glasses I'm wearing, just drop the comments, contact me on uh, Facebook, Instagram, whatever. I'm gonna show you a couple of different models today. I brought some uh, news for next year, 2021. It's gonna be dropping in uh, March, April. The ones I have right now are up on the site on leechstore.com. Uh, all the Leech lenses have uh, scratch protection the lenses in is in plastic I want that because I don't want the glass lenses they they weigh too much so when I turn my head and stuff it's, they're kind of falling off too easy uh, so I want them to be nice and light like these ones um, and yeah and the polarization is just insane so good so let's go out there and have a awesome day it's only like six hours of light from now on, <laughs> six or seven. So you don't have too much to fish on, but if you hit them, the fishing is probably gonna be on. So super excited, let's go. Phew! All right, boys. So I put up my first drift of the day here now. I'm gonna drift over um, quite a lot of uh, shallow reefs and stuff. This area is super interesting. It goes a lot of up and down. It's close to deep water. So the migrating fish during the fall can just come up on this reef real quick. Um, and it's going to be like everything from uh, 10, 15 down to 50 meters. Everything in between, a lot of up and down. No flat bottoms over here, so. Let's rig up the GoPro. And yeah, this fall has been really strange around this area. I mean, it's a lot of spots that has been like really good fishing, but Close around here, it haven't really been as it usually is during the fall. It like the thing, like the stuff I have done when I have been out haven't been working. It says I have only found small fish, um, and that's super strange for this entire time of year. Like the spots we fish, it's usually steep edges with like a lot of kelp and rocks and stuff close to deep water. Doesn't really hold a lot of small fish normally. But this year, for some freaking reason, it has been super weird. Only small fish. 
uh, now in the end I should say because like when I still had customers up here we had really good fishing with a lot of big fish but like the temperatures in the water they don't really drop as they normally do it's like still 7.9 degrees in the water right here and now normally it's down to at least six so could be something to do with that like this year has been a lot of herring around this area which is really strange normally we have like a little bit of herring but i haven't really seen herring before so this three year have just been super strange in many ways um, So anyhow, that's why I'm fishing a spot I've never fished this time of year though, I'm sure it's, uh, I mean, it's really interesting, I'm sure it's, it should be good, like, I fish this spot a lot during the rest of the season, so why not, but, we'll see, we'll see, coffee is up, bait fish down, and uh, let's see if I can uh, get some heavy bending on the phantom rod today. And the setup of fishing is the Maxell Sea Lion Special Edition with the Jigstar Phantom Dog Tooth Rod. Alright, so it's a little bit tough for me to see right now. It's a little bit bushy with the waves and everything, but I guess I had a follower or something. Looked like a halibut coming up for my bait. Uh, yeah, not sure. This bud, like doesn't hold a lot of fish i don't even think it's a lot of fish here this time of year but the ones that is here is usually quality fish like we're good ones so good potential for a two meter halibut on this spot for sure that's why i'm here really so uh yeah that didn't look like anything big or anything Eight fish coming in on the bottom sick though perfect small like patches along the bottom with bait fish that's what i like that's what i like to see it's never fun when the whole sonar is packed with bait fish that's that sucks especially on this spot because on this spot you're drifting really freaking slow all the time like between a half a knot to a knot and if it's too much fish everywhere then it's like just gonna basically sit under millions of bait fish and that's no fun no bueno at all man so still looks kind of good let's see what happens oh uh, not much is happening at all not a single bite i think the clock is around like 10 30 or something right now so i've been fishing around two hours here now it's all good pouring up some more coffee and keep waiting um yeah i have one spot i'm probably gonna go to uh, where i think it's a better chance of just catching fish i think i'm gonna go there anyhow like even if i get the uh, big one here or not that's a uh, yeah that spot is a really good spot as well big chance of good chance of catching big fish as well but yeah I, I brought my spin fishing rod today to make some make the last couple of casts for the season so that's a perfect spot for that so probably gonna give that a try the exact spot i'm fishing right now i moved around a little bit this is a pretty big area with a lot of reefs and big drop-offs and stuff as i said and uh yeah, the exact spot I'm moved to right now, I have landed one over 150 this year. But I have landed a couple 150 plus on this spot where I started. Uh, I have landed 178. But there has been landed like a lot bigger fish than that as well on this spot. And like the potential on this spot is just insane, but it's a really like slow spot to fish. so. I don't bring too much customers to this spot, like, just because it's always kind of slow. But yeah, as I said, not too exciting for customers to fish if they are not just aiming for a big one. Not many people do that nowadays. 
most people want to have good fun fishing and I see that for sure spin fishing has brought like good potential to catching uh, big big numbers of halibuts nowadays so a lot of fun yeah hopefully gonna be able to end the video with a little bit of spin fishing action and stuff but for now just bouging around in the waves and waiting for big ones all right boys so i made my way to the other spot i wanted to try today uh, super interesting a little bit calmer here anyway i just wanted to show you a couple of uh, cool dances from leech i thought i'd switch it up a little bit and show you uh, actually a pair of glasses that is coming in hot for uh, 2021 they are coming out in march april and that's gonna be the eagle eye easily one of my favorite ones so this is a pair from the pro series they have the best polarized lens from uh, leech thin and slick on the sides looking real good and these glasses they are just so good man holy shit. yeah looking super cool super super comfortable uh these ones they're gonna be released uh yeah as i said march april 2021 so you find them on leastore.com and another pair that is uh new for next year be released in march april is going to be the reflex and these ones are from the little bit cheaper uh, series that they have but still good polarized lenses and uh, not with the same coating and stuff on the on the lens but looking really really good so you're gonna be able to buy these ones as well in March April. Uh, a little bit uh, more affordable. If you're just looking to get a good pair of glasses, you don't fish too much or you just wanna have like a nice pair of glasses, then you're gonna be able to buy these ones next year. So super cool glasses. There is a lot more. You find a lot of different models on the site. Leechstore.com as I said. Uh, and don't be afraid to leave comments, ask me questions about all the glasses and uh, if you want a couple pair, make sure to hit me up first and I uh, gotta be able to sort you out with the pair you need because uh, different lenses, different colors is good for different type of weather conditions so the lens I have right now is a good all-round lens for like cloudy and sunny days so all right Let's keep on fishing and uh, hopefully we can have some good action here. I'm gonna do a little bit of spin fishing here as well, so it's gonna be super interesting. Okay, we got 30 meters here, so... Um, so with this wind and stuff we have right now, um, it's easiest to throw the 300 gram jig. This is the 300 gram Crazy Daisy from uh, Westin. start with a 300 grammer to uh, be able to fish a little bit faster um, and have good uh, bottom contact and uh, if they want it a little bit slower then I can then I'm gonna switch up to a 150 gram uh, sand eel and try that but let's start with this one and see how that goes. So just keeping bottom contact, moving my bait up quite fast, tight line dropping back to the bottom. Stopping off the boat a little bit, drifting quite fast. So it's a lot like fishing uh, fishing perch actually or just digging home for sander uh, just a little bit heavier gear and uh, a little bit more aggressive I like to fish it quite aggressive but uh, sometimes you have to do it a little bit more gentle to get the bites always be ready on the way up because a lot of times you're fishing your bait into the boat and then all of a sudden your bait goes straight up and that makes like usually the bait makes a little bit of a circle when you start reeling it straight up and then 
usually they get super triggered and take the bait so always be ready on the way up but nothing on the first cast let's see so just dropping all the way down to the bottom If you're fishing area where they are super active and you have really found the fish, it can be really good to jig or fish your bait higher up in the water. But when I'm searching, I just want to burn it along the bottom until I get the bites, really. The bottom. I'll make like three to five turns and sometimes move the rod a little bit aggressive before the drop it's not super ideal to do this at the same time you have the bait out but all right so i have a halibut following my bait fish right now oh no i have a halibut on my <laughs> spin fishing <laughs> rod Oh, fuck. Double hookup. Okay, so this is not good at all. Jesus, fuck. I have a double hookup, boys. So this is not what you want. Ah. Okay. This is not ideal. <laughs> I've, I've said this before. This is what, always what you're afraid of when you fish two rods at the same time when you're alone. It's super stupid, but jeez. Okay, let's fight them at the same time. <laughs> okay. Ah. Uh. Uh. Jeez. Ah, oh, what can I say? Uh, 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 uh. They are pretty small, both of them. All right, here we have the first one. Right there, that one goes. And take the other one. Here's number two. <sighs> Bait fish comes right out. All right, fish number two, <laughs> two at the same time. One on bait fish, one on spin fishing. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> All right, let's go again. All right, so just drop down again. Um, yeah, hopefully we don't do the same with big fish. <laughs> so as you saw there on the one, the one on the spin fishing took. As soon as I stopped the bait in the drop, it came up for it. And that's like 9 out of 10 on the spin fishing. You get the bites immediately in the drop. Holy shit, boys. This is absolutely fucked. 
Ha! I made a, I made a move out to uh, a big, big reef. It's a like a 40, 50 meter rift up before a deep edge. And uh, I thought I made like the last two hours out here. So I put on a double cold fish on my circle hook drop down and it was like super weird it started sinking quite kind of slow <laughs> i didn't really understand what what really happened so i just kept dropping kept dropping and when i thought i hit the bottom with the weight i, I think i did I, I started reeling and then yeah i was hooked up it was a halibut that took my bait fish on the way down and i didn't realize <laughs> in the fucking drop man Holy shit! <laughs> and the phantom rod is working so good, man. Oh, man. This is easily the best setup I have ever used in my life. I'm so in love with this rod, I don't even know how to describe it with words. Hello cutie! Oh, I think you woke up. Right boys, here we have the little sucker that took my double cold fish on the way down on 50 meters. A nice healthy fish. I think I got about one and a half hour more to fish on. So hopefully we can uh, triple the size. But yeah, it was fun. All right, let's let him uh, swim back. I took that boys. <laughs> so fun, there's a big ship just passing me. <laughs> I was just was pre pretty much just waving to the guys driving the boat. <laughs> and I hooked this one. But this one is so damn small man. Holy shit. The sun is just about to go down. The clock is almost uh, yeah, 2.30. Around like 3, yeah, 3.30. Around there, it is pretty much completely dark outside. So. so small, man. Perfect sashimi halibut. <laughs> A double sandwich. <laughs> Two small cold fish. Works good. It works good for big fish as well. But yeah, perfect sashimi halibut. Probably exactly 80 centimeters, but. All right, boys. That was it for this year. Last session of the year for me is now over. I'm gonna reel up and head back home. I still have some material I haven't put out yet, so still gonna make some videos. And I'm also gonna fish for some pike and stuff home in Sweden. 
So maybe we're gonna do a couple of pike fishing videos just to do something. Now in the end, now in the low light, I actually switched to the reflex glasses. Super impressed, I have to say, about these glasses for the price. Super affordable, a little bit more cheap shades, but you still get the good quality lens. And I am extremely impressed with the with these glasses. If you don't want to spend too much money, check these ones out. Super good. Anyway, hope everyone is doing all right and uh, catching some big fish. Cause I didn't today. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, anyway, a nice ending of the year. And gonna be back 2021 for the big dogs. So stay tuned for that and uh, take care. You.